Welcome to the plus add-on tutorials. Today go, I gonna demonstrate contact form 7 widget for you. The contact form, form 7 is the adapted widget that means you have to install contact form 7 plugin to work with this widget. We are assuming you already have installed contact form 7 and have created some forms. You will have the forms like this. In the contact form, you can add the new form and all the forms listed here will be available in our widget. For example, if you go to the edit section of the contact form 7, in the first content tab, you have the option for the select form. In the form selection, you have the drop down in which you have all the forms created in the contact form 7. So from that you can select the any form then you have the option for the style after that you have the alignment option which you can adjust then in the extra options you have the two options in that first of all there is the default label field that means you are using the default label fields of contact form 7 while creating the contact form 7 form for example in this contact form 2 we have put all the classes and the labels of the contact form 7 by default if you want to know more about the contact form 7 form creation you can check out other links and the documentation available on the contact form 7 website in which we have put the class which are the grade system based on the bootstrap all the class related to grid system of the bootstrap are available and in which you just need to prefix with the tp tp means the plus so you can use all those classes available and you can adjust the responsive options so these are the options for the default and if you want the custom class for that we have selected we have put by default tp-cf7-outer which you can select like this form all the forms and its values are available in our documentation you can check out those from there and you can adjust that as per your needs and specifically these are the options are useful because we have the put CSS and all the options related to outer side of each field so those are the options you can use using this outer field styling if you want put all the classes as per the directions this option will, will not work now we are assuming you have prepared everything well and let's go to the style tab in the style tab first of all you have the input field styling in which all the input fields like these will be covered right like mobile number website and these kind of input fields in which you have the option for the typography the placeholder color you can adjust the color from here you have the inner padding option the margin these options are available for the responsive so you can adjust the margin padding and other options for the tablet as well as for the mobile then you have the text color option the background color option which are available for the normal and the focus then you have the border option the border radius option box side option so these all our options are for the input field styling then you have the options for the text area that means this kind of message area in which again you have all the options related to cosmetics and the typography the color padding margin text color background color box box border box shadow every options are available same as input field styling then you have the checkbox and radio field options 
so these are the options are available from this these are the option for the checkbox and these are for radio button there is option for the typography the color background color box border the border radius all options are available for the checkbox and the radio field then you have the option for the file upload field you have the typography options the minimum height you can adjust so you can set up the height of that in the response view as well you have the text color icon color options you also have the alignment option you also have the styling option so you can select different style then you have the background color option the box border border style border radius all the options are available here then here is the outer field styling in which you have the typography options so you can adjust the typography of the outer field then you have the impeding margin options the text color which are available for the normal and the for the hover condition the box border box shadow all those options are available for the normal and the hover condition then you have the submit button style you have the width option you have the typography then you have the inner padding and the margin options also all the needed options for the cosmetics like text color background box border border radius box shadow all options are available for the button then you have the option for the response message the response message will be available once you submit the details or you submit the form you have the typography option you have the padding margin then there is the success and validation two kind of message responses so both have the different text color and the background options available here so you can adjust that as per your branch requirement then you have the box border it will be the for radius for the success and the validation you can adjust that as for your needs then you have the extra options in which you can select the maximum width this option is available for the uh, users like subscribe to our form in which you just have the email field in which sections this fair width option will be useful you also have the required text color option required background color option and then you have the on scroll view animation we have made separate video for this so you can check it out in our channel so these are the options for the contact form 7 if you have any any other questions write us on the comment box below subscribe to our channel for more video tutorials like this do check all the related links in the description below thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video